Go ahead. Hi, Omar. It's Jack from CPL Fever. And great game today. Uh, and you're an, a, bit, a very skilled player. And from our previous chats, I know you're very calm and composed. And in this game, you won two fouls, conceded uh, none. You had 100% passing accuracy. You seem like um, a man on a mission. So what did you feel like you needed to do? Um, what did you feel like you need to do? Because when you came on, the whole game changed. I mean, I I, I had I know that we're, we're like one one nothing. So I had to like push push push, try to create something. You know, so I know like I'm here to provoke provoke, provoke fouls and then take uh, take guys like one on one. I tried to do to, to do that, and uh, you know, uh, it worked. But honestly, like. He, uh, the guys were like working really, really hard. Like the last, I mean, I played maybe like 10, 15 minutes, but it's like I played like 90 minutes because we, we give like everything and and I think like the guys deserve it. Yeah, you guys play great um, and thank you. Thank you. Hey, Omar. Um, so I just wanted to, to kind of, you know, ask about the whole mentality of the team going in there. Um, what was said at, at you know, at halftime? where you kind of realized that, you know, it was going to be a much tougher game than I think anyone was, was anticipating from, from the Halifax side. What was said at, at halftime to, to kind of keep you guys in it? Because it seemed to me like you didn't just back into a, a super defensive shape. There were still attempts to press and, and, and to kind of create things offensively. Yeah. Honestly, Honestly I wasn't there. there. So uh, I don't know what the okay. guys said. <laughs> but uh, what I think is... You know we're we're one nothing, so just keep the score like one nothing until like the last 10, 15 minutes, so the guys from the bench can like come and try to create something. So that's what the guys did like for the, the first like three, five, forty minutes. They they kept the score at one nothing, and uh, when uh, Corey, when I came, like we tried to to create something, and and it worked. Yeah, we well, certainly did that because both teams had four open play crosses in the in the second half. So that really, you know, speaks to uh, to your commitment and, and that that kind of tenacity that you brought to the pitch. Yeah. So congratulations on a job well done. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go back to CPL fever, hi guys. Hi Stephen, great job for for being able to get a point out of that game, especially with uh, being a man down. Um, but my question for you is, um, how this score was it? Kind of not great decision, and then you went down a man in the next minute. But you guys showed great resilience in just not letting them score and not letting really dictate that game a lot. Um, so, what was the message at half time? Well, you know, at half time, the first thing was I, I gave them some time on their own in the dressing room. Just, just, uh, just to calm down. And then when I came in, I actually didn't say anything for a long while. I said, I just want everybody to be quiet and calm down and understand that you're in this game. You're not being outplayed. Um, you've played 20, uh, 20 odd minutes. You weren't outplayed. And if you keep your discipline and we, we push the ball forward quickly, um, especially into Akeem and over on their onto their left back, then then I, I think I think we we will get something from the game. You know they're going to make a mistake at some point. We just have to we just have to be ready to take that chance. There's not going to be many. Um, and you know I, I thought as I said Akeem got a chance. I I, I I didn't see it again, but I thought there was a penalty on Rampasad uh, on the corner. Um, we didn't get it, and I still felt that if, if we could keep pressing them in the last few minutes of the game, that they would panic. And um, yeah, we got something from it. Omar was, he stepped up and he placed it beautifully. Yeah, great game. Um, yeah, so I had a follow up to that. Uh, there were four open play crosses from both teams, uh, each team in the second half. Are you surprised that York 9 didn't? take advantage, more advantage of, of you know, the, the, the kind of, first of all, you're in this tournament where teams are tired already, and then they have an extraordinary long time with a man advantage. Are you, are you surprised they didn't take better advantage of that? Well, you know, they, they, they pushed on an extra man in the front, and they, they were almost playing four across the front. 
but sometimes you know you look at that and they, they, they're running into each other you know and by by sort of doing that we we kind of got a little a little more space in the midfield once we once we we, we didn't get pulled out centrally um, we found a little more space in the midfield and we, we started to move the ball quite well um in in terms of attacking the wings and uh you, you, you just felt I don't know how it how it looked on the on the television but you, you just felt the last sort of 15 20 minutes of the game um, that we were we were actually coming in